Discovery and exploration of the Solar System is observation, visitation, and increase in knowledge and understanding of Earth's cosmic neighborhood. This includes the Sun, Earth, and the Moon, the major planets including Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, their satellites, as well as smaller bodies including comets, asteroids, and dust. The Solar System our Sun's system of planets, moons, and smaller debris is humankind's cosmic backyard. Small by factors of millions compared to interstellar distances, the spaces between the planets are daunting, but technologically surmountable. History For many thousands of years, astronomers maintained a geocentric world view and did not recognize the existence of a solar system. Most believed Earth was stationary at the center of the universe and categorically different from the divine or ethereal objects that moved through the sky. Although the Greek philosopher Aristarchus of Samos had speculated on a heliocentric reordering of the cosmos, Nicolaus Copernicus in the 16th century developed a mathematically predictive heliocentric system. His 17th century successors, Galileo Galilei, Johannes Kepler, and Isaac Newton, developed a modern understanding of physics that led to the gradual acceptance of the idea that Earth moves around the Sun and that the planets are governed by the same physical laws that govern Earth. In more recent times, this led to the investigation of geological phenomena such as mountains and craters and seasonal meteorological phenomena such as clouds, dust storms, and ice caps on the other planets. Antiquity and first observations Telescopic observations The first exploration of the Solar System was conducted by telescope, when astronomers first began to map those objects too faint to be seen with the naked eye. Galileo was the first to discover physical details about the individual bodies of the Solar System. He discovered that the Moon was cratered, that the Sun was marked with sunspots, and that Jupiter had four satellites in orbit around it. Christian Huygens followed on from Galileo's discoveries by discovering Saturn's moon Titan and the shape of the rings of Saturn. Giovanni Domenico Cassini later discovered four more moons of Saturn and the Cassini division in Saturn's rings. Edmund Halley realized in 1705 that repeated sightings of a comet were recording the same object, returning regularly once every 75 to 76 years. This was the first evidence that anything other than the planets orbited the Sun. Around this time 1704, the term, "'Solar System' first appeared in English. In 1781, William Herschel was looking for binary stars in the constellation of Taurus when he observed what he thought was a new comet. Its orbit revealed that it was a new planet, Uranus, the first ever discovered. Giuseppe Piazzi discovered Ceres in 1801, a small world between Mars and Jupiter that initially was considered a new planet. However, subsequent discoveries of thousands of other small worlds in the same region led to their eventual reclassification as asteroids. By 1846, discrepancies in the orbit of Uranus led many to suspect a large planet must be tugging at it from farther out. Urbain Le Verrier's calculations eventually led to the discovery of Neptune. The excess perihelion precession of Mercury's orbit led Le Verrier to postulate the intramercurian planet Vulcan in 1859, but that would turn out to be an irrelevant thesis. Although it is debatable when the Solar System was truly «discovered», three 19th-century observations determined its nature and place in the universe beyond reasonable doubt. First, in 1838, Friedrich Bessel successfully measured a stellar parallax, an apparent shift in the position of a star created by Earth's motion around the Sun. This was not only the first direct, experimental proof of heliocentrism, but also revealed, for the first time, the vast distance between the Solar System and the stars. Then, in 1859, Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff, using the newly invented spectroscope, examined the spectral signature of the Sun and discovered that it was composed of the same elements as existed on Earth, establishing for the first time a physical link between Earth and the heavens. Then, Father Angelo Secchi compared the spectral signature of the Sun with those of other stars, and found them virtually identical. The realization that the Sun was a star led to the hypothesis that other stars could have systems of their own, though this was not to be proven for nearly 140 years. Further apparent discrepancies in the orbits of the outer planets led Percival Lowell to conclude that yet another planet, Planet X, 
must lie beyond Neptune. After his death, his Lowell Observatory conducted a search that ultimately led to Clyde Tombaugh's discovery of Pluto in 1930. Pluto was, however, found to be too small to have disrupted the orbits of the outer planets, and its discovery was therefore coincidental. Like Ceres, it was initially considered to be a planet, but after the discovery of many other similarly sized objects in its vicinity, it was reclassified in 2006 as a dwarf planet by the IAU. In 1992, the first evidence of a planetary system other than our own was discovered, orbiting the pulsar PSR B1257 12. Three years later, 51 Pegasi b, the first extrasolar planet around a Sun like star, was discovered. As of 2017, 2,687 extrasolar systems have been found. Also in 1992, astronomers David C. Jewitt of the University of Hawaii and Jane Liu of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology discovered 15,760 Albion. This object proved to be the first of a new population, which became known as the Kuiper Belt, an icy analogue to the asteroid belt of which such objects as Pluto and Charon were deemed a part. Mike Brown, Chad Trujillo, and David Rabinowitz announced the discovery of Eris in 2005, a scattered disk object initially thought to be larger than Pluto, which would make it the largest object discovered in orbit around the Sun since Neptune. New Horizons flyby of Pluto in July 2015 resulted in more accurate measurements of Pluto, which is slightly larger, though less massive, than Eris. Observations by spacecraft Since the start of the space age, a great deal of exploration has been performed by robotic spacecraft missions that have been organized and executed by various space agencies. All planets in the Solar System have now been visited to varying degrees by spacecraft launched from Earth. Through these unmanned missions, humans have been able to get close-up photographs of all the planets and, in the case of landers, perform tests of the soils and atmospheres of some. The first artificial object sent into space was the Soviet satellite Sputnik 1, launched in 1957, which successfully orbited Earth until 4 January the following year. The American probe Explorer 6, launched in 1959, was the first satellite to image Earth from space. <inaudible> Flybys The first successful probe to fly by another solar system body was Luna 1, which sped past the Moon in 1959. Originally meant to impact with the Moon, it instead missed its target and became the first artificial object to orbit the Sun. Mariner 2 was the first planetary flyby, passing Venus in 1962. The first successful flyby of Mars was made by Mariner 4 in 1965. Mariner 10 first passed Mercury in 1974. The first probe to explore the outer planets was Pioneer 10, which flew by Jupiter in 1973. Pioneer 11 was the first to visit Saturn, in 1979. The Voyager probes performed a grand tour of the outer planets following their launch in 1977, with both probes passing Jupiter in 1979 and Saturn in 1980–1981. Voyager 2 then went on to make close approaches to Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. The Voyager probes are now far beyond Neptune's orbit, and are on course to find and study the termination shock, Heliosheth, and Heliopause. According to NASA, both Voyager probes have encountered the termination shock at a distance of approximately 93 astronomical units from the Sun. The first flyby of a comet occurred in 1985, when the International Cometary Explorer ICE passed by the comet Jacobini Zinner, whereas the first flybys of asteroids were conducted by the Galileo Space Probe, which imaged both 951 Gaspra in 1991 and 243 Ida in 1993 on its way to Jupiter. Launched on January 19, 2006, the New Horizons probe is the first man-made spacecraft to explore the Kuiper Belt. This unmanned mission flew by Pluto in July 2015. The mission was extended to observe a number of other Kuiper Belt objects, including a close flyby of 486958-2014 MU69 on New Year's Day, 2019. As of 2011, American scientists are concerned that exploration beyond the asteroid belt will hampered by a shortage of plutonium-238. Topic: <laughs> Orbiters, Rovers, and Landers. 
In 1966, the Moon became the first solar system body beyond Earth to be orbited by an artificial satellite Luna 10, followed by Mars in 1971 Mariner 9, Venus in 1975 Venera 9, Jupiter in 1995 Galileo, the asteroid 433 Eros in 2000 near Shoemaker, Saturn in 2004 Cassini-Huygens, and Mercury and Vesta in 2011 Messenger and Dawn respectively. Dawn is orbiting the asteroid dwarf planet Ceres as of 2015. The first probe to land on another solar system body was the Soviet Luna 2 probe, which impacted the Moon in 1959. Since then, increasingly distant planets have been reached, with probes landing on or impacting the surfaces of Venus in 1966 Venera 3, Mars in 1971 Mars 3. .Although a fully successful landing didn't occur until Viking 1 in 1976, the asteroid 433 Eros in 2001 near Shoemaker, and Saturn's moon Titan Huygens and the comet Temple 1 deep impact in 2005. The Galileo orbiter also dropped a probe into Jupiter's atmosphere in 1995. Because Jupiter has no physical surface, it was destroyed by increasing temperature and pressure as it descended. To date, only two worlds in the Solar System, the Moon and Mars, have been visited by mobile rovers. The first robotic rover to visit another celestial body was the Soviet Lunokhod 1, which landed on the Moon in 1970. The first to visit another planet was Sojourner, which traveled 500 meters across the surface of Mars in 1997. The only manned rover to visit another world was NASA's lunar rover, which traveled with Apollos 15, 16 and 17 between 1971 and 1972. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spacecraft exploration. Overview of some missions to the solar system. See also the categories for missions to comets, asteroids, the Moon, and the Sun. Topic: <inaudible> Crewed exploration. Crewed exploration of the solar system ended in 1972. The first human being to reach space, defined as an altitude of over 100 kilometers, and to orbit Earth was Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut who was launched in Vostok 1 on April 12, 1961. The first human to walk on the surface of another solar system body was Neil Armstrong, who stepped onto the Moon on July 21, 1969 during the Apollo 11 mission. Five more moon landings occurred through 1972. The United States Reusable Space Shuttle flew 135 missions between 1981 and 2011. Two of the five shuttles were destroyed in accidents. The first orbital space station to host more than one crew was NASA's Skylab, which successfully held three crews from 1973 to 1974. True human settlement in space began with the Soviet space station Mir, which was continuously occupied for close to ten years, from 1989 to 1999. Its successor, the International Space Station, has maintained a continuous human presence in space since 2001. In 2004, U.S. President George W. Bush announced the vision for space exploration, which called for a replacement for the aging shuttle, a return to the Moon and, ultimately, a crewed mission to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Exploration survey Bodies imaged up close <laughs> <laughs> Sample return Moon MISC. Missions including Apollo and Luna Comet Dust Stardust. Solar Wind Genesis. Asteroid Hayabusa See also, Meteorites and Cosmic Dust Topic. See also List of Solar System probes Timeline of space exploration Timeline of Solar System exploration References <laughs>